Lucy, have you no ah! sense? Do not even say a word. Do you know why? Because everything you're about to say right now is nothing but lies. And yes, to your question, I have not gone mad. I'm about to go mad. Can you at least sit down and tell me the reason for your misconduct? Well, Mr. Raymond, you can keep your seat with several hands. I don't need it. The question is, what the hell are you doing with the phrase? Oh, maybe I should rephrase it. It seems like you can't get your eyes off grace. Or can't you? <laughs> well, it is my eyes. And I have the right to look at whatever I choose to. You, you know why? Because I am the one who has the heart that catches feelings here. You can't do that to me. Besides, the last time I checked, you looked at me eyeball to eyeball to tell me that you had no feelings for Grace. What's going on? Well, it's none of your business. Well, it is your business. You know why? Because you are nothing but a pathetic liar. That's what you are. My dear, feelings do not show up in a day. Oh. It takes time. The last time I checked, you told me you had no feelings. Wait. Are you now accepting to the fact that you have feelings for Greeks? Of course, yes. I like her a lot. And I hate you. It's not my fault. I mean, I tried not to catch feelings. Not until the other day we had a discussion. And then I realized that part of me has always liked her right from the very first day I set my foot in this office. I am putting you to your father. Screw you. For what exactly? Listen. I like Grace a lot. And my father already gave me his blessings. He did what? Oh yes. He assigned her to me. Because he knows she is the only perfect woman for me. I am old enough to know what is good and bad. And mind you, if it was against the rules of this company to date any one of my staffs, I am ready to break that rule for grace. Sir, as I was saying, I Miss Grace, if I had all the time in the world to waste, I'm sure I wouldn't spend it listening to your speech. So please go straight to the point. My apologies, sir. Apology taken. What I'm trying to say is that Silver Star Company has always been a company centered on trust. That is our key word. So we've been in this game for 35 years. And we are not relenting. As the years have gone by, several people have studied that our business has been very lucrative in the market. Hence, competition and interest have risen. We can't relent at this time, sir. I mean, changing our strategy would be losing our audience. That is my take on this. Chris, my question is, if not me, then me. Never, Mr. Johnson. That is bad for business. These are people who have trusted and stuck to our brand for a very long time. But it's just a little change in content. <sighs> what if they find out? All we need to do is to send out a memo that we rebranded. Bullshit. That is crime and we all know it. Hiking our prices on our, on our content for, for no justifiable reason. Miss Grace, mind your language. This is a meeting and not a clubhouse. We have certain ethics here to observe. My apologies, sir. I allowed my anger 
get the best part of me. That's all right. But please, can I pass my message without being interrupted, Mr. Johnson? Granted. As long as you mind the language we're all ears. After all, it's your presentation. So go ahead. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. So as I was saying, babes, mm -hmm. I mean, today in the board meeting, you did fantastically well. You were amazing. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Because it didn't look like she was listening to any of this nonsense I was saying. What are you saying? She were not saying any nonsense. I mean, you stated the facts. Come off it. Don't mind the stupid guy that calls himself Johnson. That one. That wizard. You know, I don't even know what's in that guy's problem. What's his own? He doesn't just want to see anybody shine. All he knows in this life is shortcuts. The idiot doesn't realize that we are trying to make our business better. Because other business in the same line as, I mean, as to what we do, I've been breathed every day. Yes. But dear, this is not the 1980s though. People have choices. If they don't take number one, they go take number two. Exactly. But the goat doesn't understand He's that. He's an idiot. And you know that. He's just trying to buy him off from the mm -hmm. But anyways, do not mind him. He doesn't understand the fact that this business is very important. I mean, if we do any wrong thing, boom, the demand will fall. And that has been fraudulent. Trying to defraud the same people that have kept you in business for 35 years. 35 good years. Trust me, I'm sure Chief will not even buy his stupid ideas. Come off it, he's a good man and you know it. He wants the best for us and the company. That's the way he took that idea. That's very true. You no, know, Chief is really a good man. He is nice and a very religious man. He has the fear of God in him. I doubt if you sign the petition. Anyways, I just hope so. Nobody can be trusted, you know. After all, this is company. But with that Johnson trying to make I swear to God, I'll tell the secretary to put my pants. No, I'll first of all kill him for the first time. <laughs> This one, and you're not picking your course. Oh, sorry, Mom. I, I fell asleep. Sleeping for how long? I hope you're alright. Are you okay? Yes, Mom. I'm fine. How is everyone? We are fine, oh. And how is work? Mom, you wouldn't believe it. I fell asleep immediately. I got back from work with my work clothes on. <laughs> my daughter, I can imagine how tired you are. Eh? Okay, go and take your shower. Eh? Take a good meal for yourself, eh? Can <laughs> you go? Oh, okay, Mom, I will. Thank you. And I miss you. I miss you too. Eh? One more thing. Remember to be prayerful. You know what? 
just always be prayerful. Make prayer your norm. Okay? Take everything, all your problems to God in prayer, no matter how little it is. Yes, Mom, I'll always have that in mind. I need to go now. Uh, 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 please, uh, wait. How about your friend, uh, Lily? Lily? Uh, Lily is fine. I'll tell her you called and ask after. By the way, Mom, um, I remember I was supposed to send you some money. I'll send it right away, okay? Eh, uh, it's okay. Thank you, Mom. Oh, thank hey, you very much. Thank you, Sister Grace. She has mm, called the phone, phone now. Eh? The phone has she has called the phone and I have call called you. Again, Stop man. calling her sister. Call her auntie. She's your <gasps> auntie. How can she be my auntie? She's my sister now. She's my blood. <laughs> okay, let me tell you. No, I've not told you since. Mm -hmm. Her mother is my elder sister. Mm -hmm. You know, girl? Yes. They gave her to her. My mother died when she gave her to her. So I have to take the responsibility, you know? Yes, I go. You're not that, but she's still my sister. Don't worry, when she call again, oh? Go and do what you are doing. Let me feed the fowl. Go and do what you are doing. She will okay. call you again. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm Yes, hello. David? So you think you can run away, right? What do you want from me? Everything. Everything you owe me. I will so miss you. You think you can leave me just like that? No, no, no. no. You listen. If you don't stay away from me, if you keep fucking my life, I will have no other choice than to report you to the police. Leave me the hell alone! Oh, oh. You threatening me? So we're not dealing with threats now, right? No, you listen. I have no more money to give to you. So you will take your silly life and get out of mine. Bastard. Now you listen to me, you idiot. If you don't stay away from me, I'll have no choice but to lock you up. What the hell is wrong with you, David? I'm sorry, Lily. Um, I didn't know it was you. I didn't. I didn't look at my phone when the call came in. David called. Tell me, what did he say? The bastard did. What else would he say? He was asking for money. What do you want to do? Do you want me to come right now? Oh, no, no. It's okay. It's fine. I would. I'll be fine. You remember, we have a long day tomorrow. Thank you for being such a great friend. And by the way, my mom called. She asked after you. Hope she's fine. Yes, she is. Perfect. I'll see you tomorrow. I need to take a shower. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Awesome. Oh, no. Mom, I just sent you 70,000 Naira. Please, I need you to manage the money for the month. Amen. Amen. Okay, Mom, Mom, I just go back from work. I need to rest, okay? Thanks for the prayers. I'll talk to you. <laughs> All right, Mom, bye. Oh. Ask you something. Uh, oh, it's, oh, oh, God. 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 Oh,
Do you want to ask? Oh? Mommy, why did you say she's not calling you sister, girl sister? <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> I want to know. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You see, I'm sorry for hiding this from you all this while. Grace's mother is my elder sister. Sister Grace, mom? Yes. She died after she gave birth to Grace. And ever since, the responsibilities fall on me. Hmm? That's why she has been with us and she calls me mother. So you mean Sister Grace is not my sister? <laughs> she's your sister, but she's your auntie. Yes? She's her other sister. Okay? You always call her auntie. At least it's a sign of respect. Inuga? Inuga? Oh yeah, go ahead. Be fast too, fast, fast. No sister. You say you're not going to spend up to 30 minutes before coming to the office. I just have to wait for the guy to call me before I leave. Please. He has my meds. Calm down. How did the meeting go? Well, it ended well. Don't bother yourself. I have to tell him you're sick. Oh, thank you very much for coming up. So what, what, what did he finalize? Hey, Miss Am, this is it. So all he had to do is um, go to it. I'm sure you're going to understand. Okay? I have a meeting. I mean, an assignment meeting. I also need to meet the junior staff too, so I think we should move together. You can go out. Well, thank you for covering me up. You're such a dog. You know I love you, right? Anything for I you. I wish I could just <laughs> buy it. I can't buy it. Please, sit down. Please, what are you doing here? Grace, have you no manners? You should knock before entering. Oh, my apologies, sir. I, I don't know what came over me. What is happening with you these days? Um, <clears throat> I actually came to drop off some reports, but um, since I'm done, I think I should take my leave. Thank you, sir. Have a nice Thanks. day. I'm sorry, sir. Sit down. Is your health and how may I be of help to you? I feel a lot better, sir. Okay. The reason I'm here is concerning the letter you shared at the meeting. Yes, what about it? Permit me to say, sir, but I think you made a mistake. You signed the petition. Yes, I did. Sir, that, that's a dangerous move. I mean, if anything goes wrong, it will be a dent on our name. Miss Grace, the money allocated for Silver Star Productions for the next six months is 11 million naira. Your prepared budget was 12 million, and that of Mr. Johnson, 9 million. And you've not given me any good reason why we should work with your budget. This is for the betterment of the company. Please. Miss Grace. Yes, sir. Are you ready to provide the remaining one million naira needed? Because I might as well ask for it to be deducted from your salary. Sir, please. Please, you really need to listen to me. Uh, I have things to do. <laughs> Honestly, I am disappointed in Chief. I mean, so this whole thing is all about money. Imagine Chief telling me to sacrifice my three month salary if I want my budget for production to be approved. Yeah, you're joking, right? I'm not joking. I would have vouched for that man seriously, but with what happened today, <laughs> it's obvious you can't trust anyone 100%. <laughs> Wait, if, if I'm not wrong, your three month salary is one million naira, right? Yes, that should be the same with yours. Or is it different? 
No. <laughs> no, it's the same thing. I'm, you know, I just think you need to stop stressing yourself about this issue. I mean, Chief Idris is the owner of this company. Let him carry his cross. I don't know why you're stressing yourself over this issue. My dear friend, thank you. Thank you. I don't know why I need to stress myself. I don't know why I want to kill myself as if it's my company. Obviously, I'm the only one who cares about that company. Mm. But if they don't, uh, hell yeah, girl. I'm so gonna forget everything about that company. The best decision ever. I went to the Garden of Love. And I saw what I've never seen. A chapel was built in the mist. The pets were singing our love song. The trees were dancing in the rhythm of the wind. Oh no, I feel loved. Mm -hmm. I feel home. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm on the boat. So he's saying today is Saturday. Since when did we start having impromptu meetings on weekends? chat record which I have here, it is very obvious that we've been having the critics and demand of this company. And for the past one month, we've been trending online but with negative reviews. Just like a particular lady dropped a comment online which has over 1,000 likes. And I quote, Silver Star Company has been a company which I've been patronizing but I guess whatever that has a beginning has an end. So with what I just stated now, it is very obvious that we have a drastic problem to be solved immediately. Not only that, we've lost sales and we're losing millions. We need to act fast. Yes, I will try as much as possible to... Try as much as possible to shut your mouth. Yes, I'm sure you know you're the reason behind this. Yes, you better be. Grace. Sir. I'd like to hear from you. Well, sir, I always knew this was going to happen. So I quickly set up a memo, an apology memo, which I already sent to your mails to get us out of this mess. Brilliant. It's simple, sir. As we all know, everyone loves free things. All we need to do is get double quality of these items and give it to them for the price of one. And also send an apology memo to everyone who publicly reached out to Silver Star just to tell them that we still have their interest at heart. Trust me, sir. If this is executed properly, then in a month or less, everyone will forget that this ever happened. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much, sir. You will jewel to Silver Star at all. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.
but I already sent a stop there. Uh-huh. All right, I'll, I'll call you back. My baby. Do not baby me, Idris. What did I tell you about calling me Idris in the office? So oh, please, cut off that crap. Watch your tongue, young lady. Otherwise, I'll ask you out of my office. You will ask me out of your office? Now, let me ask you, Chief. Do you also ask Grace out of your office? Do you? What are you talking about? Mm. You think I wouldn't find out? Well, newsflash. I just found out that you pay Grace a hundred thousand more than you pay me. Why? But you do get much more than that from me. I know it. I don't care. I simply do not care. I am the one who services you in this company, not her. So why should she be any more than me? I thought Grace was your best friend. Do not even think of changing the topic. My sweetness. Come. You know I do not like to see you angry. You know that. All right. I'll do something about it. Is that okay? Come on, give me a smile. You promise? I promise. And I have a surprise for you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm? Do you know I love you too much? I just can't stand. It's okay. Everything will be alright. Hmm? Today is indeed a very special day for Silver Star Company because for the first time in three months we hit our sales target three good times. Woo. And it's all thanks to Grace here. Grace, I want to thank you because without you I don't know how we would have gone past the challenge the last three months. And by reason of that and other things that you've done in the past, I am appointing you the managing director of Silver Star Company and Lily here as your assistant. Oh. Oh. Effective today. Oh. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I am super duper grateful. Thank you. And all oh, thanks to God for he is my source of strength. Thanks. I can't forget to say thank you to my very good friend here, Lily. You've been amazing. Thank you for being a sister, a friend, a support system, and sometimes my mother. Thank you. Thank you for standing by me and for your constant advice. I can't wait to work with you. you <laughs> thank you so much, sir. Very welcome. You're welcome. Sit down, sit down. Girl. Chief, so this was your plan? What plan? To ruin my day. I just promoted you. To who? To what? Grace's assistant? And why is that a problem? It is a problem for me, Chief. I have done enough for this company and I deserve more. Not some person's assistant. Not even Grace. Listen, my love. In this office, Grace does more. She is smart, she's beautiful, she's resourceful, and she's... Enough! But you, my love, you are the sweetest thing ever, and I got you this. Your birthday gift. What's in there? Open it. It is the key to a brand new car already packed in your house. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh my 
my god. <laughs> you like it? Yes. In fact, as a matter of fact, I'm no longer angry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank right. you. Take the rest of the day off. Okay? Take off the day. Really? <laughs> Catch up. Okay, sir. Hmm? Thank you. <laughs> I wish I could. Honestly, I wish I could. But I have to be on my way. Well, if it gives you any comfort, I wired one million naira into your account for the weekend. Don't forget, your party is at home today. Oh, all foods and drinks on me. Really? You know, oh, I never knew we were still having a party. Of course we are. We need to celebrate your birthday and our promotion. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Well, congrats, girl. I mean, you deserved it to me. Mm, now you yeah. want to make me cry. Oh. Anyway. Don't forget, the party is at 7. I okay. know you might be carried away. No, I won't. I have everything arranged already. <clears throat> so 7 o'clock it is. Okay, fine. <laughs> I can't wait. I mean, we need a break. Oh, we're having a party. Woo! We're having a party. Break it up. Like you're playing Ludo Cause you like someone who is blindfolded Life is a challenge to everyone The way you choose to live Makes you who you are You can be cool You can be hard But success shows Who attracts it Come to light, life full of greed. 
can do anything to leave. No, what are you doing in my party? Relax. I'm here to see my girlfriend. You're here to see your girlfriend? Yes. Tell it I tell her I was going to talk to her myself. I said so, right? So why are you here? I know, but I'm a changed man now. I, I, I don't do those bad things I used to do. I've turned a new leaf. I want to see her and profess my love to her. <laughs> are you sure about this, David? I am telling you, I'm a changed man. David, you are very sure about this. Stop toying with my friend's hat too. No, just help me out. Go call her for me, okay? Go call her for me. Just talk to her. Okay. I'll call her. But this is the last time I'm helping you silly ass. Do you understand me? Fighting shadow, it's like you're playing Ludo. Cause you like someone who is blindfolded. Life is a challenge to everyone. The way you choose to live makes you who you are. And you can be cool, you can be hard, but success goes. Who are drugs Life full of greed Can do anything to me Life full of jealousy Can end up in sin Life full of greed Can do any jealousy Can end up in sin That's James Say whatever you want to say Mr. Ma, talk with you, won't talk to you, yeah, you're dead. Lily, Lily, it's okay. Oh, you don't have this time. Lily, it's fine. I think I should um, get past this. It's fine. I'll come back and pick you in five minutes. No, no, no. Make it 15 minutes. 15 minutes. I shut up. So get up. Hey. It's Grace. You can sit down and say what you want to say. Go ahead. Listen, Lily. And I realize my mistakes. And... I have turned a new leaf. I'm not a good guy. I, 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 see, I, I've come here to tell you I won't even ask you for money anymore. Uh, all I want from you right now is your love. Okay? Did I not give you that before? David, I gave you all of this. What did you give to me in return? Instead, you beat me up to a corp at every chance you get. I gave you my love, my innocence, and everything, but what? You're an asshole! Mm -hmm. I am freaking talking to you, David. I'm talking to you. You know me. I hate you so much, and I, I can never ever be with you. So get the hell out of my life and leave me alone. Shut up, Oh my! See where? Idris Jacob, my son. I missed you so much, Dad. I missed you too, son. Sit down. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah. Thank you. You and your mom wow. refused to come see me. <laughs> well, you know, mom, always busy with her business. But as for me, I'm here. <laughs> You're welcome. 
Thank you very much. I thought you might take a few days off before coming to the office. Hell no. <laughs> I couldn't wait another second, Dad. I mean, look at this place. I'm proud of what you have done with this company. <laughs> it's you. been 21 years since I and Mom left for the state, and, and I won't be mistaken if I said I barely recognize this place. <laughs> congratulations, Father. Well, congratulations to you too, son. I mean, this belongs to you and your mom as much as it belongs to me. I have worked hard all these years to get to where I am because of you too. You are all the family I have in the whole wide world. Indeed. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Father. <laughs> <laughs> well, just a minute. Tell all heads of department that there will be a meeting in the next one hour. A big meeting. I need to get you introduced to everyone. Of course. <laughs> Let them start knowing who is the boss here. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get used to this. Yes, indeed. I really have to get used to this. Babes, guess what? Just guess, say something. Listen, I know I'm good at so many things, but guessing is not one of them. Oh, Grace, fine. Show off. Chief Son is back. <laughs> Chief Son. Yes, Chief Son. Chief has a son? Well, yes, he has a son. Grace, don't say cute. <laughs> Are you sure? Chief has a son. I mean, are you sure he's the one you saw? Who you yes, see? I am sure. You know what? I've seen this picture of one of the leaflets in the office. Hi! Mm -hmm. Chief Executive Officer of Army for Activities. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the point, though. I mean, the point is that this guy is cute. You don't need to have seen him. As a matter of fact, I was in the garage and the car when he drove in. He's so cute. Are you sure it was Chief's son you saw? I am sure! Come on, girl. It's been a week and you're still crushing on this guy. I am not crushing on him. He's already mine. He's yours already? Yes. I thought you had a boo. You say? No, I don't hear you. Away. Which guy kind of says many rotten, stupid boo with that one? Yeah. I don't know. You see, no compost for my life. No compost aside for my life. Oh, okay. No. Sorry. Ah. Well, for you, I'm talking about. Hello, Rebecca. Oh, okay. All right, noted. Thank you. I'm sure the boss wants to introduce us to his son. Ah, my name is where I'm wearing. I mean, why would I even wear this on Monday morning? I would have looked more hot or something. Lily, you look good. I Calm don't down. look that good. What is wrong with what you are wearing? Ah. Anyway, me, I don't get strength. Okay. You see me, so I don't have time for this. We have a meeting by 10 o'clock. Mm. Okay, anyways, I need to go back to the car to get my perfume. Do some touch up before I head into the community. So I'll see you there. Lily, don't be so vain. You're looking fine. No, I'm not. I have to look more fine. I play this. See you. Yeah. I'm off to my office. Why are you shooting at the Of course, Mr. Johnson, I'm not even going to do it. This and the other one. Good day, sir. Good day. Please be seated. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an unscheduled meeting. I want to use this opportunity to introduce to you my only son, Raymond Idris Jacob. Raymond has been living in the United States for 21 years and uh, recently decided to return home and uh, continue my legacy. There isn't much for me to say except to state here that uh, when you see Raymond, you see me and to request that you accord him the same respect you, you give me. All right? Okay, yes, sir. sir. Raymond has been running my wife's company abroad for five years. And I am certain that at the appropriate time, he will be a very valuable addition to this company. And on that note, um, I'd like to detail Miss Grace Sherlock to acquaint him with the operations of the company and, and to bring him abreast of things. Um, 
Yes, that's it. So, Raymond, if you have anything to say, feel free to do so. Well, as you all know, I am Raymond Jacob Idris. I am not a man of many words. So on that note, I want you all to know that I'm looking forward to having a blissful time with all of you. Secondly, I want to sincerely appreciate each and every one of you here for all the effort you've put in to maintaining this company's status and also taking her to a greater height. Thank you all and you enjoy the rest of the day. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Hi, Raymond. It's Mr. Raymond. I believe you are Mrs. Grace. That will be me. Saving Grace. I have heard a lot about you. Good things, I presume. Hmm. You don't look so good, Miss Grace. Is there a problem? It's nothing, it's just a little headache. Then I advise you visit the medical team and let them take care of you. All right, sir. Thank you. Do have a good day. You too. And what's your name? Lillian Joro. Lillian Joro. Nice to meet you. Same here. Is this how it should be? Yes, all data are being Okay. Are the graphics ready? What is it? Um, I I'm sorry, sir, but I, I forgot. You forgot? Miss Grace. Sir, please. Uh, I've been ill this past few weeks, and it skips my mind. It skips your mind? How the hell do you forget something as important as this? If you're sorry, what the hell do you want me to do? Give you a trophy for that? This is a project you promised to submit three times, and you forgot all times. Well, I am disappointed in my father for allowing you to tell me when you don't even know how to take good care of yourself. I beg your pardon? How dare you? Are you talking to me? Bloody hell, I am speaking to you. Who else will I be speaking to? Listen, I will take anything from you, but please, do not look down on my work. I will take such slander. I just said I was sorry and I was going to fix the graphics. Why the hell would you speak to me in that manner? I know you might be looking at me like somebody who is crazy in the last two weeks. That is because it's been rough for me and Sick. I mean, what, what do you want me to do? I just said I was going to fix it. Miss Grace. Oh. I am sorry for the way I spoke to you. Okay? I know I might have been so hard on you, but please forgive me. Take some time out and get to see the doctor. Of course, you know health as well. Okay? You see the doctor. I'm sorry I spoke to you with that small idea. I should be the one who apologizes to you. Okay? I am sincerely sorry. 
take some time out. Get to see the doctor. I recommend that. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Go ahead. I actually brought something for you, though. I don't know if you want it. Yeah. Oh, nice of you. Let me see. Ah. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> well, well, thank you very much for the efforts. But I'm allergic to all of this. Hmm? But thank you. Excuse me? Oh, I mean... My body reacts to white wine and also chocolate. But it's fine. I, I appreciate your efforts, really. Thank oh. you very much. Okay? Okay, I... I get, um... I think I should be on my way. It's alright. Okay. Uh, wait. Ah. Oh. How... How is Grace? She should be fine. Please send my regards because the last time I saw her, she was complaining about her health. Oh, okay. She would hear about that. I would appreciate. By the way, thank you very much for the gifts. Okay? You're welcome. Now, what do we do with this? That witch. She keeps acting like she's all innocent. But she is the devil herself. Can you imagine? Grace told Raymond that she is sick just to get pity from him. Later she will say he's my boss. Hmm. That you never cease to surprise me. Every damn time. I know she likes Raymond. No, what am I even saying? She loves him and wants him all to herself. But one thing Grace does not know is that I have Raymond. I mean, I love him. And if she tries to do anything stupid, I will deal with her mercilessly. I'm a psycho. Grace. Are you okay? Why is she calling me now? Hmm? Maybe to feed me with more of her stupid lies. Test results are out. What does it say? It came out positive. It did what? <sighs> you remember what happened on the night of your birthday? Oh 
Oh my goodness. No, I'm listen, Grace, you have to stop crying. Crying is not going to solve any, it's not even going to give us any solution to this problem. Then what do I do? Lily, tell me what do I do? I don't even know what to say. I don't, I don't know what to do. Kampa, you definitely cannot keep that baby. And I'm sure you know that, right? Lily, I can't possibly harm an innocent child. What innocence are you talking about? Are you serious right now? You are pregnant for David in case you are having amnesia. I mean, David had raped you. I know. But children are blessings from God. Oh, please. They are only blessings from God if only they are couples. You're not married. You're not even psychological, or emotionally, or financially ready to take care of, of a baby. You can't. You need to get rid of this baby. What about your mother? Do you know how disappointed she's going to be if she finds us about this? She'll get over it. I mean, she would understand. She knows that I wouldn't do anything out of the ordinary just because I want to. She knows I make every decision because it is right. I'm just the one who's, who's so confused right now. I don't know what to do. Grace, listen. You don't need to be that confused. All you need to do is see a doctor and get rid of this baby. Oh, no. Sweetheart, the responsibility is too much for you. Lily, Lily, please. I can't even think about it. I am scared to my bones. Mm. Do you not bother yourself? I'll be right there beside you, right? I mean, it's nothing that nobody has not done before. How do you mean? Never mind. Listen, Grace. Keeping this baby will hinder you from a lot of opportunities. You won't be able to meet people, you know, do some... You don't need it right now. Maybe when you're married, yes, but not now. Definitely not for David. Grace, there's nothing to be worried about. Crying will not solve anything. Just stop it. All we need to do is tomorrow we go to the hospital and then we get rid of it. That's all. And you'll be fine. Thank you very much. Yes, Lillian, how are you? I'm fine. Hi, Mr. Raymond. Uh, listen, Miss Lillian, I will um, I would want to thank you for the wonderful gifts you brought for me the other day. I truly appreciate <laughs> them. Okay? It's nothing, Mr. Raymond. As a matter of fact, I was actually wondering. If we could do it one more time at my place. I mean, this weekend. What do you think? It will enable us to be able to know each other. And then I would have to get you things that you are allergic to. <laughs> and it's fine. This weekend will be nice. Just, just give me the time and I'll um, lock it up on my schedule list. Mm. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so I have to go back to my office. I actually came to check up for you. Like you said, weekend and I'll be there. We're hoping to see you. Very well then. Weekend. <laughs> and wait. I hope Grace will be there. Yes. Fine. Definitely. Fine. Then weekend it is. Okay, see you. See you, Miss Lillian. Good morning to you all. 
Good morning, Good morning sir. sir. Raymond? Yes, Father. Well, thank you very much, Father. Well, our goal for the week is centered on our advertising strategies, platform and um, online pools inclusive, which I and Miss Grace here have um, we mapped out ten advertising strategies. But, but before I go into that, I would love one of us here to please tell us the four growth business strategies. Anyone? There's no harm in trying. <clears throat> well, that includes um, the use of repetition, convincing the customers to join the bandwagon, and um, also strategizing and um, including the promotions and the rewards from the customers. That's very wrong. And anyone else, please help me out, yeah. Uh, I would correct that real quick. Miss Lillian here just stated the basic advertising technique. But she asked for um, the four marketing strategies. This includes market expansion, market penetration, products development and diversification. Oh, thank you very much, Miss Grace. You're welcome. Now back to advertisements. Hey, Grace. Oh, Amazing Grace. Well, I just came to know how you're doing. And, uh, you know, just in case you have anything bought from me, you can always talk to me. Okay? Thank you very much, I <clears throat> I appreciate your concern. Um, so I guess we'll be seeing um later today sorry ah, come on tonight at lily's for dinner oh oh yes 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 we will we will see tonight so tonight darling yes tonight all right you take good care of yourself all right you so, too. All set. You mm -hmm. know, I'm not in the mood for a chit chat. I just really want to concentrate on my life. Babes, come on, friends. Okay, fine. You don't need to say anything. All you need to do for me is just sit and um, watch. Okay, but I'll not just sit and watch. I am going to sit and eat. That's the only thing I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, fine. You win. Well, um, um, but, um, I've decided to take out the chant. I have an appointment with the doctor for 7 a.m. tomorrow. Really? Okay. Don't scream. Okay. <clears throat> I am not proud of myself. I am only doing this for the best of the child. Don't say that. What you are doing is the best thing to do. Don't worry, you'll be fine. <sighs> Hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> How are you, little? Oh, hi. Hey, Grace. Oh, hi. Sorry. How are you? Yeah. Nice place you have here. Oh, thank you. Uh, please sit down. Thank you very much. Wow. Well, thank you for having me here. <laughs> hmm? You're welcome, sir. Um, besides, I love your color. Oh, <laughs> it's actually very cheap. Yes, duty free. Oh. I bought it on transit back to Nigeria. Mm? Wow, well, I don't care. I'm just a freak for designers. Oh, oh. really? Then remind me to gift you one. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, the food is ready. I think we need to move to the dining room. Oh! Food! <laughs> I'm actually very famished. <laughs> wow. So, you know what's going on? Huh?
Wow. Wow. I love it. <clears throat> you know, I actually bought out my time to make this meal. Especially for you. Oh. Mm -hmm. I feel very special right now. Mm -hmm. Of course you're special. <clears throat> Tell me about yourself. Well, you go ahead and uh, tell me what you want to know. Okay. Let's start from your favorite food. Well, as an African man, I would say uh, swallow pounded yam and pussy soup. <laughs> wow. Okay. Your favorite spots? Basketball. Okay. That's all gets in America now. Really? Mm hmm Okay. What about your hobbies? Um reading books, watching TV and um playing basketball. Your relationship status. It's all right, it's all right. Well, as a matter of fact, I am single. Why? Why? How do you mean? I mean, why would a guy like you still be single? Well, I I don't think the physical uh, um, appearance has anything to do with that. No. Hmm? See? I believe you agree with me. Hmm. <laughs> so, do you have any question to ask me? Feel free. Oh no, I don't. Unless you have any to anything to tell me. Well, as you already know. My name is Rita Nchoro. I am 25 years old and I am single, ready to make. Oh, nice. Grace. Hmm? Ah, you've been awfully quiet all through dinner. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm. Um... I'm good. I don't just um, <clears throat> I don't enjoy talking while eating when I have uh, food. I like that. <clears throat> I understand observing table manners. That's cool. So, you mind telling us about um, yourself? Are you single? Um. Yes, I don't know. I am. Um, I mean, no. I'm sorry. I. I need to go in. I just um, remember that I have um. I need to see my mom tomorrow no. very early, so I'll uh, I'll just leave you to. No, listen. If it's if it's what I said, I. I'm sorry about it. I'm really sorry. Okay. No, oh, it's okay. Um. It's fine. You haven't done anything wrong. I. I really need to go. Good night. Listen, uh, I think I've had enough. Thank you very much for having me. Making this wonderful, delicious meal for me. Okay? I, I have to leave now. Um, I'm not so fast. I mean, uh, you can spend a little more time with me. If you don't mind. Uh, it's alright. I. I'll just stay a few more minutes. Okay. Yes. So you tell me. 
what do you have in mind? I mean, right now. Maybe. Just work. Nothing more about work. It's always work all the time. Well, you know, for me, all I have in mind right now is you. I understand that you're a busy person. But, um, Chris, Chris, you need to stop this. Hey, you can't continue, cry, I mean, crying like this. None of this was your fault, so you need to stop hurting yourself. It's all my fault. <laughs> Lily, I feel so useless. Life of an innocent child. I'm... <laughs> that is wicked of me. I don't feel good about this. Grace, listen. <laughs> what you did was the best thing you should have done. I mean, you need to move past this and then forge ahead for the future. Listen, you see this paper? I am going to dispose it. Because I'm sure the more you keep looking at it, the more it's opening the fresh one for you. And then I'll go into the kitchen and make a very good meal for you to eat. Okay? It's okay, Grace. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lily. You've been my saving grace. It's okay. It's okay, you'll be fine. Okay? It's okay. Sorry. Grace, just stop this. An Oswaj nigger once said, Strength does not come from winning. Your struggles develop in your strength. When you go through hardship and decide not to surrender, that is strength. So I will rise above my struggles, challenges and demons, and become a better person. Free to laugh. Free to be happy and to love again. Some lost part of me just found its way back. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> I am so happy for you. I mean, what matters is that you're back and you're happy. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. And I really want to thank you, especially. Well, yes. I mean, without you, I wouldn't have gotten myself out of this depression and self inflicted aids. Mm -hmm. You were a strong support system for me, girl. Anything for you. <laughs> I mean, you're my best friend. What would I have done? No. I have a choice. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> one quick question. Which is? How about Ray Ray? Who is Ray Ray? Seriously? I don't know who you're talking about. I'm talking about Raymond, the boss's son. <sighs> Please, I... Why don't I talk about it? Lily? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, fine. I just realized that we, I mean, he's not my type, so we had to move on and I had to maintain my space. <laughs> what? <laughs> you never change, Lily. I mean, like, I knew this was going to happen. Trust me. I knew. Anyway, it's better. At least my ear go rest. Raymond morning, Raymond night, Raymond evening. Please stop Raymond... it. Oh, of it course. It wasn't that bad, you know. 
babes, he was bad. Okay. He told to knock your ringtone for my ear. But I'm crazy. You don't need to celebrate. I mean, you're welcome back. You need to pop something to it. Okay. Okay. So, I buy. I buy the idea. I buy. So, dinner? Yes. Dinner. Oh my god. Go to your office. I have to. I have. I have. I have. Okay. Raymond, I know I'm the last person you wish to see or talk to. I also know I let my emotions take the better part of me. But the truth is, from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry. I don't know what came over me. Please, I beg of you. Can we just forget about this and move on as partners? I am sorry. Forgive me. Please. It's perfectly fine. I know you had lots of alcohol to take that day. So, I am not angry with you. As a matter of fact, I was never angry with you. Sit. <coughs> you see, I will never judge a drunk person's actions. So, I forgive you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I promise it will never happen again. That's all right. Thank you. I have to go back to my office. Very well then. Go ahead. Amazing Grace. Oh, I was about to see that. So how are you doing today? I'm very well, sir. And you? I'm very fine. <laughs> this is it. Thank you. By the way, you look very happy. Oh, well, I am very happy. <laughs> Thank you. I came to inform you that our 30 minutes long, boring cheat chat or tutorials, like your father calls it, is finally over. Why? What did I do wrong? Well, you didn't do anything wrong. Your father asked that I tutor you for six weeks. And six weeks is over, so officially it's ended. Too bad. I was already getting used to your lectures. Ah, so tell me, how long were you expecting me to spoon feed you? As long as it takes. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> well, thank you very much for all. You know, I... I was planning to solicit with you to increase your time to an hour. An hour? Yes. <laughs> an hour. Okay. It was actually nice working for you. Point of correction. With you. My bad. It was nice working with you. Anyways, Grace, um, thank you very much for your time. As a matter of fact, I enjoyed everything about you. And you are very smart and intelligent. I like that. Everyone wants to have you in their team. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Please excuse me. Well, hello, Dad. Another problem, I will be too shocked. Okay, then. Son? Yeah. What were you doing? Well, I was just um, discussing with Grace on how to. Hmm. Grace? Well, yes. Apparently, her coaching classes has ended. Oh, that's true. It's six weeks already. Funny how time flies. <laughs> Sit down, sir. Oh, thank you very much, Father. Oh. 
So, son, generally, how do you see Grace? Well, she's a very smart woman. Hardworking, dedicated to her work, and um, strong-willed. Beautiful, isn't she? Father, is there something I'm missing? I simply asked a question. Well, Grace is beyond beautiful. Mm. A perfect type woman, huh? <laughs> I see that as the reason behind the coaching classes. Well, I, I could have chosen anyone else, but I could have chosen any other person and I chose Grace. Hmm. Well, recently I I discovered I have a soft spot for her. Yes, so I want to get to know her and see where we go from there. Well, that's a smart move. <laughs> Just like your father. You have my blessing, son. Thank you very much, father. You're Thank welcome. you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That was exactly what happened. <laughs> it's, 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 it's. Are you kidding me? Kidding you? How? <laughs> Is that funny? What's funny about this? No, no. Humans are just really, really funny. <laughs> but you don't think? At least you learned a lesson. Huh. It tells you not to trust anyone a hundred percent. I am telling you, peeps. You know the worst. Anybody can be your enemy. You shouldn't even trust people at all. I'm telling. <laughs> but, listen. Hello, mommy. Good evening. Grace, how are you? I'm fine. You know, I was about to call you. Hi. Sorry, right, my daughter. And how is work? Work is fine. And how are you? I'm good, though. Just managing. Huh? So, how, is, how about your friend, uh, Lily? Mm -hmm. She's here. She's fine. You want to talk to her? Uh, let me talk with her now. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Uh. Hey, mom. Good evening. Aha, uh -huh. Lily, mom. Good evening. How are you? We are very well, mom. Uh -uh. I'm good, though. I just want to thank you, eh? Thank you very much for taking care of my daughter, Grace. Eh? Thank you for choosing her as a friend. Eh? Thank you very much. Thank you for loving and cherishing her. God bless you, oh? <laughs> thank you, mommy. Amen. Both of you should love yourself, eh? Remember you are like a sister, eh? Uh -huh. Do not allow anything to come in between you. Eh? If you have problem, please, both of you should settle it within yourself. You know go? Eh, don't keep it to your heart. You know, you go? Oh, okay. I've heard what you said. And I'll tell you, I'll always do what you ask me to do. Okay, mom. Nice talking with you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God bless you. I keep praying for you people. <laughs> Mommy, and I love you too. <coughs> Bye. Oh, <laughs> dad. Oh, dad. Oh, dad. So, yes, I have a new tentative timetable for the training of our staff. Everything has been prepared. It's been attached to a file which I've sent to your mail. All you need to do is to give it... Raymond? Sorry. Have you been listening to all I have been saying? Oh, yes. Yes. Amazing ideas from Amazing Grace. Raymond. I'm sorry I was not. Are you being serious? Listen. Can we talk about this over dinner in a more relaxed environment? Wow. Wow. It's, 
It's just Dina. You and I. I don't I don't know what to say. Hey, you don't need to say anything. Just choose a place in time. Why? Well. Because I am the boss. Lucy, have you no sex? Do not even say a word. Do you know why? Because everything you're about to say right now is nothing but lies. And I ask to your question, I have not gone mad. I'm about to go mad. Can you at least sit down and tell me the reason for your misconduct? Well, Mr. Raymond, you can keep your seat with several hands. I don't need it. The question is, what the hell are you doing with Grace? Oh, maybe I should rephrase it. It seems like you can't get your eyes off Grace, or can't you? <laughs> well, it is my eyes, and I have the right to look at whatever I choose to. You, you know why? Because I am the one who has the heart that catches feelings here. Yeah. You can't do that to me. Besides, the last time I checked, you looked at me eyeball to eyeball to tell me that you had no feelings for Grace. What's going on? Well, it's none of your business. Well, it is your business. You know why? Because you are nothing but a pathetic liar. That's what you are. My dear. Feelings do not show up in a day. Oh. It takes time. The last time I checked, you told me you had no feelings. Wait. Are you now accepting to the fact that you have feelings for Greeks? Of course, yes. I like her a lot. And I hate you. It's not my fault. I mean, I tried not to catch feelings. Not until the other day we had a discussion. And then I realized that part of me has always liked her right from the very first day I set my foot in this office. I am putting you to your father. Screw you. For what exactly? Listen. I like Grace a lot. And my father already gave me his blessings. He did what? Oh yes. He assigned her to me. Because he knows she is the only perfect woman for me. I am old enough to know what is good and bad. And mind you, if it was against the rules of this company to date any one of my staffs. I am ready to break that rule for grace. <sighs> Finally, my angel is back. I have missed you. Stop it. I am not your angel. <laughs> and it's not funny either. It is. Oh, it is. So I am now a comedian, right? No, tell me, do I like a joke to all of you? Or maybe Silver Star is now a matchmaking company. Because that is what it seems like. What are you talking about? You know what I am talking about for my sake. Do not give me the pretentious look on your face. Your son and Grace. For the perfect match. Are you serious? Now they are allowed to be a relationship. Wait a minute. Don't tell me you had eyes on my son. And what if I did?
Sit down. Sit down. Lillian Joe, you are mine, and mine you will remain. I am not yours. You are not my father. And I refuse to continue to be your mistress. Don't you get it? Tell me, why is it so hard for you to understand it? I am just 25 years old and you are 66. Can't you see the difference, the gap? I want to live my life. I need to be left alone. You are making a bad decision. In case you've forgotten, let me remind you. I formed your lifestyle. Your house, your cars, your bills are all handled by me. Take some time and think about it. And I saw what I've never seen A chapel was built in the mist The beds were singing our love song The trees were dancing in the rhythm of the wind Oh no, I feel loved mm -hmm. I feel home I feel like I'm on the boat on top of the night. Oh, your love set my soul on fire. Your love, your love set my soul on fire. Your love set my soul on fire. Love, you look so beautiful. Thank you. You know what? I just realized that you are my destiny. No jokes. Listen, to be sincere, I have never felt the way I feel right now about you. I want to build an empire with you, darling. That's if you allow me <laughs> I want to wake up every day every other day next to you I want to be your best friend I want to be your guy <laughs> <laughs> I want to have beautiful kids with you I want to do great exploits with you. I want to do a whole lot of things. And all of them I want to do with you. And no other one. You think I'm joking, right? But of course I know you're joking. Okay. <laughs> Tell me. What do you think? You are my think about what? You are my breath. You are uh, my everything. Yeah. My well, <laughs> I think you're great. You're a cool guy. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. but I think there's something about you I do not know. I feel home. Mm -hmm. Well, I am ready to share I all about me like with you. <laughs> if you're willing to know. Willing to listen. If you're willing to listen. Hmm? Well, I'm willing to listen. I'm ready to listen. I'm always here to listen. <laughs> but I want to make this official with you. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Darling. I want to make it official. <laughs> How do you mean? Will you spend the rest of your life with me? Make beautiful kids. And be the only woman in my life. 
Fremont. We are outside our appreciated if you can, you know, <laughs> stand up. I know. Come on, darling. I, I have this all planned out. Mm. Okay? <laughs> Raymond, just... I feel home. Uh, are you okay? Uh, uh, the ring. <laughs> I, I could swear it was here. I, I, I put it here, yes. My diamond ring. Yeah. My my diamond ring. Listen, I, I, I'll be right back, okay? Yes, I'll be right back. I okay. feel like I'm on the boat on top of the night. Oh, your love set my soul on fire. Your love, your love set my soul on fire. Your love set my soul on fire. I really don't understand my dream last night. Raymond and I? <laughs> Hell no. That is so impossible. But he's actually so handsome and a perfect gentleman. Oh no. no, no way. I can't be having a crush on him. Raymond is just a friend. Gracie? Hello, sir. Good morning. All right, so I'll be right there. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm on the boat on top of the night. Oh, your love set my soul on fire. Your love, your love set my soul on fire. Mm -hmm. Love set my soul on fire. Your love, oh, Grace, I uh, wanted to discuss something with you. Um, Are you alright? Of, of course, I'm, I'm fine. Just, just uh, go ahead, I'm listening. <laughs> alright. You see, I'm having difficulties in preparing an official hierarchy chart for my father. But then, I realize you've been here longer than I have. So, you could be your fellow. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> of course I, of course I can. Nice! <laughs> you see, I knew I could count on you. Oh, huh? <laughs> of course you can. <sighs> and here it is. <laughs> um, you know what? Not to worry. I will check it and then um, bring it back to you tomorrow. Oh, thank you very much, Amazing Grace. You are my saving grace. Uh, huh? <laughs> okay, um, thank you. I have to head back to my office. Very well, then. What is going on with me? I am going crazy over Raymond. A day never passes without me thinking of him. What do I do? Does he actually like me or everything is just playing in my head? <sighs> I really want to give love a chance again. And if Raymond is the guy the universe has brought to me, then who am I to say no? But I'm fully yet to understand him. Just the other day he asked us to go for dinner. Until now he hasn't even talked about it again. I guess he probably realized how much of a bad idea it is. Ooh, I should just forget about him. Set my soul on fire. Your love, your love set my soul on fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Well, hello there, Mrs. Amazing Grace. How are you? I'm doing great, Sun Ray. Hmm. Now, how did you come up with that? Same way you came up with Amazing Grace. Yeah, the file you asked for. Please do have a seat. So what do you think? Great job. Thank I you. love this. Well documented. Thank you. So. So. <laughs> you know what? Um, I should head back to my office. Um, <clears throat> Very well then, I, I guess I'll see you around. Amazing Grace. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you around on sunny way. Amazing Grace. Oh, hello there. Come to my office uninvited. Oh, it's about invitations now. I guess. Very well then. I want to ask you out for dinner. How about that? <laughs> like a date? Back to your seats, boss. Okay. Have work to do so if you need me. Go back to your office. Where you are. I'll see you tonight. Yeah. <laughs> nice office, by the way. I went to the Garden of Love and I saw what I've never seen. A chapel was built in the mist. The beds were singing a love song. The trees were dancing in the rhythm of the wind. Oh no, I feel loved. Mm -hmm. I feel home. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm on the boat on top of the night. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, wow, that sounds great. And I missed you too. Your love set my soul on fire. You know what? I can't wait. Your love set my soul on fire. Um, so where's Lily? How is she? Okay, well, that sounds great. My regards to her. <laughs> All right, then. It's fine. Take care of you. Bye. You know what they say that love is a beautiful thing and it works in mysterious ways. So, I've decided to give Raymond a chance. Yeah, if it works, fine. If it doesn't, life goes on. 
it's all in there. What do I think? Think about what? I think you should snap out of whatever you're feeling in your heart. Yeah, you for real? As a matter of fact, I am so disappointed in you. What will you be doing with that womanizer that calls himself Raymond? Okay. <clears throat> Maybe in my heart of hearts, I should take that as a compliment. Because I'm still going to give him a try. Come on, you need to calm down. This guy is a nice guy, he's kind and he's a perfect gentleman. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me. Grace, you are my friend. And I will not let some guy who is a gigolo to come and break my friend's heart just like that. It won't happen. All that guy does is keep lying to you. Don't you get it? Sorry. What are, what are you saying? Just a little I overheard him telling someone that you're too nerdy and naive for his luck. And that he was only being nice to you, so asked to get whatever he wants from you. <sighs> Babe, shut your eyes. That guy is not good for you. How can someone claim to love you and still tell people that you're nothing but a co-worker? Think! What? Well, I, I didn't want to tell you because I knew it was going to hurt your feelings. But I'm left with no other choice than to tell you right now. So you can snap out of this before it's too late. So, so I, I've been a fool the whole time. Yes. Rather you call me fool than pull the stones you just put on me. Oh, you think it's funny? Well, I'll tell you what's not funny. Messing with my feelings. What feelings? Feelings you have for other girls? What the hell are you talking about? I, I'm talking about 
how you use these same feelings of yours to deceive other girls. Stop, I, I know exactly what I'm saying. I heard you ranting about how I am not your type of woman and how serious I am. <sighs> Who the hell is feeding you with all those lies? Baby. You are my kind of woman. I mean, you are everything. Yes. And I love you so much. Remy? Yes. Please, I beg you. Stop listening to all these people that want to make us fail. I love you. Love you from the depths of my heart. I don't know what to say. Hey. You don't need to say anything. Just follow my lead. Fine. This actually sounds very weird. Like <laughs> I find this whole thing weird. What? I mean, us being a couple. Nah. I find it sexy. Ah, uh, really? You know that kind of weird. Tell me. Tell me. Shut up, don't kill yourself. Stop joking with me. <laughs> Looking at the love of my life is what I find weird. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Mm. Mm? I'm fine, but I think we should hang over. <laughs> I missed you. And I missed you too. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Have a seat. So, so why didn't you tell me you were coming? Well, because I wanted to surprise my oh, woman. So now you are full of surprises, right? Of course, darling. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> That's actually very sweet. Mm. Mm -hmm. I hope you don't find it weird at me. <laughs> so what's happening? Nothing much. What's wrong with you? Every time I see
As I was saying, uh, all we have to do right now is uh, think of all the best strategies we could use, you know. Uh, focus on them and uh, do every necessary thing that we have to do to make sure it plays out well. Do you get me? Yes, that, that's why I told you, because I believe you're the best. You get so um I know I, I don't want my father to know about this, I just want to surprise him. You know, I want him to, to um, sit back while I take care of business. Do you get me? That's how it's going to be. Um, um, from from time to time, I think we should uh, fix people to uh, do the protocols. You know, to take care of the protocols and um, also, uh, I don't know. You tell me. You're you're the man in charge. Mm, well, you you you're spoken with. I think uh, that's the way we have to go. Mm -hmm. That's what we're about to Oh. Okay. I, I always knew you were the best. Oh, yes. That's that's why I contracted you. <laughs> you sure you don't want to take anything? Oh no, no. Yeah? No, no. Okay. Oh I love to eat, I love good food, oh, yes. you know. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh -huh. Oh yes. My plans are no way before from yours. In that way we will have the best. Oh yes. Just me, sir. This is for you. Why do you order for this? Someone asked me to deliver this thing. I'm very sorry for the approach. Um, it's actually from my brother. Thank you very much. It's not as good as for Yeah. Well, you know, women. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to see what is inside the bag? Uh, no. That will be when I get back home. For now, let's continue talking about business. Sorry to pry. Sorry to pry. I would really want to know what is inside that bag. At least, I could learn a thing or two on how to make my wife blush, just like you're doing now. <laughs> You're being too nosy, but it's, it's okay. It's okay, let's check it out together. Yeah. Let's see what we have here. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's nice. This is indeed very beautiful. beautiful. Yes, it's it. It's it. It's it. <laughs> hmm. This is cute. Wow. It's a Versace. Very cute. <laughs> very cute. Roses are red, and so is your shirt. <laughs> I will want to take my leave now. Okay, mister. It's okay. Just like with this coast. Okay? It's all right. Thank you, you very much. much. Thank Do you. have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Lily. Hi. What are you doing here? Well, I actually came to have some drinks. And you? Well, I... I came for a business meeting, but I'm done. I was oh. on my way out. Nice. <laughs> okay, um, why don't we have um, some drinks, you know, sit down and have some chit-chat. Like a little bit. Ah, lovely. I would really love to do that, but... I'm tired and I need to get ready for work tomorrow. Avoiding me, as usual. I mean, why do I have those feelings that you're 
avoiding me. Is there supposed to be a reason for that? Well, I do not know. I'm just saying from my observations. Not, nothing really. Okay. What's in the box? I mean, what do you have in there? It looks attractive. Well, these are some very nice gifts that has really made my day. Oh. And um, who are they from? Do you know? Obviously, it should be Grace. I mean, who else will want to take her time to get me this 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 wonderful gift, if not mm. Grace? <laughs> yeah, so uh, I figured it should be her. Grace, my wonderful friend. You know, I actually appreciate you guys. Relationship is one to look at for. Thank you. Keep it up. Thank you very much. <laughs> so why don't you um go while I go so that my bills? I'll meet you up in the office. Oh, uh -huh, very well then. Uh, you take care of yourself. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. Taking care of you, huh? Bye. Bye. Sleeping already? Yeah. Well, that was thoughtful of you. I truly appreciate it. What are you talking about? I love you, darling. Bye. My friend, who are you and where are you coming from? You even have a girlfriend. And you all over me yesterday night, confessing your love to me. Are, are you all right? I, 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 darling, listen, I don't know who this person is. I swear I don't know who she is. I don't know who are you. Oh my God. What's the problem? Babe, 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 babe. Well, if it is not what it is, tell me, what else can it be? So, Lily, you don't believe me? I, I don't know that girl. Why should I believe you? No, you tell me, when you've lied to me on so many occasions, you expect me to believe you. I don't. Lily, I know you hate me for no reason. I, I don't know why. But, I want you to help me talk to Grace. Please. I don't want to lose her. I, I love her so much. I beg you. Read my lips. I will not. Please, if you do not mind the name, please. Do you need to use the door?
You see what I keep telling you? No, I am happy you've seen it for yourself. Because if I keep telling you this all the time, you see it as if I don't know what I'm saying. Or maybe I'm lying in case thing. This guy is not good for you. I'm happy you noticed it yourself. Honestly, I can't believe Raymond would do this. I, I, I can't... I can't even imagine it. Oh. Okay. You know your problem? You don't want to accept the fact that this guy is a cheat and a liar. They don't ever change. That is who he is. Period. But <clears throat> something still baffles me here. Which is? You know what baffles me? The girl said Raymond spent the night at her place. As a matter of fact, Raymond was with me. Yes, you probably didn't see him when the room together. He was here from 7 p.m. to 8 a.m. when he left to change for work. <laughs> so what are you trying to say? Girlfriend, Raymond was with Rebecca all through the night. Maybe you're hallucinating. I am not hallucinating. I called him afterwards. He didn't pick up, but he said she was, he was still sleeping. And what proof um, do you have? You know, you are blindly in love. That's your problem. This guy was with Rebecca. Who, who is Rebecca? The lady that came to the office. But I never mentioned any name. You did. That's why you told me her name was. I can swear I did not. I didn't mention her name. Are you sure? Anyways, I thought you said her name was Rebecca. Ah, you know what? I am tired and I'm hungry. I'm tired of talking about you, Ray. I need to go fix something to eat. <sighs> Excuse me. It's been five days. You promised to call me and you didn't call me. Well, unlike some people who are jobless, I work from nine to five. It means I am not always free on weekdays. My dad is not what I'm talking about. You were supposed to pay me and you did not pay me. My mother is sick and I need to foot her bills. You shut your trap. Shut that tiny thing in between your face before I shut it for you. Look at you. I asked you to do a simple assignment for me. And what did you do? You ruined it. I mean, you almost did. Now, I, now let me ask you a question. What was that drama you pulled out there? Now, you tell me. I only asked you to walk up to him and pretend that he was your boyfriend, not the other way around. But I just spiced the whole thing up. What were, what were you expecting me to do? You spiced it up? Yeah. I never told you I wanted to make a meal for them. I mean, to prepare a meal for them. I did that. You know what? You should be thanking your stars. Be praying to God Almighty that you do not ruin, I mean, do not mess up my plan for me. Because if you do, you would have me to contend with. Look at you. You should be ashamed of yourself. A simple assignment, you cannot carry it out. Now, you, you, you were claiming you were with him all through the night. But guess what? He was with his own girlfriend because he did not believe your claim. You are such a big idiot. The only thing I could do is to make the whole drama look believable. Yes. I never told you I wanted a Nollywood actress either, did I? Because if I wanted one, I would have gotten one somewhere. But you know what? Just get the hell out of my side. I mean, zoom out. When you go upstairs, 
you check your phone. I just did you twice. Oh, no. When you're fighting shadow, it's like you're playing Ludo. Cause you like someone who is blindfolded Life is a challenge to everyone The way you choose to live Makes you who you are And you can be cool You can be hard But success chose Who attracts it What are you doing here? Babe, please stop this. Don't tell me to stop. Oh, now you want me to stop. Raymond, I trusted you, but all you could do is make a foolery of me, right? Can I at least explain? You want to explain? All right. Go ahead, I'm listening. Darling, I swear, I have never seen that woman in my life. I, I don't know who she is. Why are you laughing? You know, I've got small features. I know that. But I don't want you to think that I am a kid. Darling, I was with you all night and you know it. And during the day? I was sleeping in my house. And you expect me to believe that trash. Ray, a woman walks up to you, claims that she spent the whole day with you. And you're telling me that you were sleeping? Darling, she said it was a mistake right after you left. That is bullshit. Crap. Grace, you have to learn to trust me. I love and respect you so much and I'll never do anything to mess this up. Come on, what, what's your problem? Get out. I won't repeat myself. You are. Raymond, get out. Are you sure about this? Babe. Babe. <laughs> Thank you. 
good day, sir. Yes. Grace, how are you? I'm very well, sir. You sent for me. Yes, please sit down. Thank you. Um, Grace, I sent for you in respect of what's going on between you and Raymond. Look, relationships have their ups and downs. Some days you wake up and you choose to love your partner through the good times, through the bad times, and through the ugly times. Sometimes it may be a very, very big struggle. And on some other days, you just might wake up and see yourself as the luckiest girl in the world. Look, I'm speaking to you not as your employer, but as a father. Okay? I have watched you grow over the years to become a woman of your own. I want you to think very carefully about this conversation. Mind you, I am not on anybody's side and you do not have to say anything, but I know my son. Raymond loves you very much. And anybody can see that. But what you may not know is that there are people around you who want what you have. And they will do anything, just about anything to jeopardize your happiness. Raymond is miserable. And I can't say I have seen him like this ever before. I want you to note this. On the day in question, he was at home all through. And I'd like to leave you with this last word. Don't lose gold while chasing a glitter. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Just think about everything I've told you. All right? All right, sir. May I be excused, please? Please. I came to apologize for what happened earlier today. It was totally childish and uncalled for. I'm sorry. Grace, I am sorry for everything. I have not been myself ever since. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry for not trusting you either. Where you come first in my life. I should be able to trust and stand with you in situations like this. I'm sorry for letting other people into our relationship. I went to the garden of love and I saw what I've never seen. You know I love you. A chapel was built in the mist. The beds were singing our love song. The trees we are dancing in the rhythm of the wind. Oh no, I feel loved. Mm -hmm. I feel home. Mm -hmm. I These two have refused to separate. After.
after everything that I have done, they seem to be more in love. <laughs> Grace, you seem not to understand one thing. If I cannot have Raymond, you won't. <sighs> now let me see how they are going to escape from this one. <laughs> Okay, well, somebody doesn't seem to be in a good mood today. Would you mind telling me what is wrong with you? Come on, snuggle bunny, what is wrong? I need you to answer some questions. Oh, well, seems like I'm going to be in a hot seat today. Shoot. Who is David? Um, I said, who the hell is David? That's, that is my ex. The, the same person I told you about. Were you ever pregnant? Answer the damn question! I just said I can explain! Where is the baby? I lost the baby. But you killed it. Listen. I had no other choice. But you never deemed it fit to tell me about it. That was because it was in the past. But I deserve to know. Someone out there is making our relationship sound like a joke. But that's because you let them to. I tell you everything, everything about me. But I get to find out about my so-called girlfriend from an outsider. Now I feel cheated. I'm sorry, I am truly sorry. I was going to tell you. Well, you had the chance to. So I doubt it. Ray. Ray. It's okay. I mean, you can't continue doing this to yourself. I think Raymond needs some time, you know, to access to the information. And then he'll come back. I mean, he'll come around and then he'll forgive you. By the way, how did he find out? Exactly the same question I've been asking myself. I don't know. I don't know, I didn't say anything to any other person besides you. You were the only 
one I told. Whoever did this to me will know no peace. The person will never find happiness ever in her ease or her life. The person uh, will okay. know no peace. Oh, just stop it. It's not going to be raining causes some people. Okay. Fine. Listen. I'm sure it was someone else that told him. You need to think. Maybe you told someone else and you can't remember because you know I cannot tell him on such thing. Think. I didn't say anything, Sir Raymond. And you didn't I tell did, anyone else? I did not. Except someone from the office heard our conversation. Oh my goodness, God. That's the only way because I couldn't have told him that and I know you wouldn't do it. Why are you making sense? I mean, it makes sense now. I'm sure someone at the office was eavesdropping. God. It's okay. I'm so heartbroken. I don't, I don't even know what. Oh. Grace, can you stop this? Raymond will come back for you. Trust me. Stop. Are you sure he will? He will. He doesn't have a choice. How is Grace? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> Look, son. When you love someone, no matter what happens, through the good times and through the bad times, you should know how they are doing. Love is not for the faint-hearted or the weak. It is for the strong, okay? For those who are ready to fight for their love, not, not for lazy children. All that I'm not lazy. I have fought for this relationship with Grace and everybody knows that. How would you feel when your, your partner is hiding the past from you? While I feel betrayed and I have the right to feel this way. Of course you do. Um, but I'd like to remind you that we all have a past. Hmm? It may be wrong for Grace to hide things from you, but the past may still hurt. So it's better for us to forget the past and, and move on with our lives. Okay? You have to be able to do that. Look, I mean, I am very certain that every one of us at some point or another in our lives, we have made decisions that we may not be entirely proud of today. And if we are judged by them, we certainly wouldn't be where we are today. Mama, I was just going to call you. Uh, Grace, my daughter, how are you? I'm very fine, Mom. And you, how are you doing? Good. And how is work? Mom, work has been terribly stressful. Please, my daughter, there is something I want to tell you. I have been having a series of bad dreams about you. Please, my daughter, you have to be prayerful. The more I pray about it, 
the more they keep reoccurring. Please, you have to be very careful about people around you. Eh? Or especially that your working place. One, be very, very careful and be prayerful. You know, go, please. Please, always go to God in prayer. You know? Oh, my daughter. Hi. Mama, I've heard you. Nothing will happen to me and I love you too. Okay? Okay. Our God will be with you, oh? God will protect you. Amen. May He be with you too. <sighs> I missed you so much. Me too. I missed us. Listen, I... I want to apologize for everything about the pregnancy. I swear to you, I was scared. I was scared of the outcome. But I promise never to hide anything from you anymore. It's okay. You see, I acted as a jerk. But that is in the past now. I do not love you less. Thank you. No. You shouldn't be thanking me. I mean, who will not forgive the most beautiful woman on earth? I should be the one saying thank you to you. For loving me even when you shouldn't have. For choosing me. For seeing right through me even... Even with the walls I built around me. Thank you. Well, thank you for choosing me and loving me back. Thank you. You're welcome. Ready. Ready for what? What do you mean by that? The pre annual seminar, of course, is going on in London. I mean, your back should be packed by now. And who says I'm going on that trip? <coughs> Come off it, Grace. It is very obvious. You know it. Lillian Joro, how do you know that? Because you are the only qualified staff to go on the trip. Besides, from what I'm seeing, which other people are better to go there apart from Romeo and Juliet? <laughs> Romeo and Juliet, of course. We are not a couple. We are not Romeo and Juliet. Everyone has the opportunity to go on that trip. And nobody has been picked already, so let's wait and see what happens. Mm -mm. I disagree. Mm. You both are going on the trip, period. Uh-huh. Lucia, so, prophetess. How are you? Thank you. I'm gonna pack my bags. <laughs> <laughs> Lillian, you're such. <sighs> you know, for some funny reasons here, Lily thinks we're both going to be selected for that trip. Of course. Who else beats us? We are the best couples in town. Huh? Seriously? I mean, why does everybody think it has to be about that? I just feel it's just my chance. My chance? Mm hmm An expense paid business trip to the UK will be chosen by chance. Come on, darling. There must be some considerations. Think about it. Of course, I, I uh, Grace Sherlock like you should have. She would know better. And I'm not like this. <laughs> darling. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I still stand on it. It's by chance. I don't think so. Don't tell me you don't think so. I know so. Then you sit back and relax and watch. Let's see how it goes. Are you trying to be funny? Don't make me try to be funny. <laughs> there we go. I came as soon as I could. I hope there's no problem, sir. Unfortunately, Grace, I can't say that. Look, you've been a very good and valuable staff of this company, and we never cease to compliment you, to appreciate your efforts. But I'm afraid there's a problem. Initially, you and Raymond were supposed to go on this business trip to the UK. As a matter of fact, I'd already signed your letter of approval for the trip. Unfortunately, the test results came in. And uh, by reason of your results, you've been disqualified for the trip. What? Sir, that's impossible. I thought so too. Um, as a matter of fact, the test result came out yesterday. When I saw it, I asked for a rerun. And the rerun came out the same. Amphetamines were found in your system. Uh, um, Amphet what? Amphetamine. I haven't even heard of that all my life. I don't know what it is. Amphetamines are powerful psychostimulants that are used in treating ADHD, narcolepsy, or obesity. Sir, I, I still don't understand. Well, um, a high amount of the drug was found in your system, which suggests that it might not have been taken as a medication. Um, the lab results suggest that it's a crystal methamphetamine. You might have taken it mistakenly, might have been given, or you might have taken what belongs to a drug addict, but whatever. I'm sorry you can't go on that trip. I'm sorry. This is absolutely crazy. I mean, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I have never taken drugs. I, I will never take drugs. I have no reason to take drugs. Maybe your father talked about it. I searched it online and... Why would I want to do drugs? Darling, you, you need to calm down. You need to calm down and think. I mean, have you... Have you... Taken any drink mistakenly that didn't belong to you? What are you insinuating? Wait a minute. Raymond, you think I do drugs? No, come on. Listen, I, I believe you, okay? But I need you to think. The only way those drugs could um, get into your system is if being ingested in, in, in a drink, okay? Now, you have to think. Have you had any, any drink that, um, that didn't belong to you? Very simple. Someone must be responsible for this. Well, no, I haven't. And I have no reason collecting. Listen, I have no reason collecting food items from any of the staff. So you see, it's impossible. Um, darling, trust me. Everyone here is a suspect because. Everyone wants to be on that trip list. Well, I just said I haven't collected food from any of them, so it's it can't be any of them. What about Lily? <laughs> Are you being serious? Raymond, for crying out loud, Lily is my best friend. But what that's you? that is not my question right now. <laughs> just think. Have you collected any consumable item from her in the past one week? Uh, 
No, 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 it's... No, I haven't. I only took a pack of juice from her yesterday, but my test was last week. It's all right. You know what, I... I'll take care of this. Trust me. Okay? I will. I will take care of this. Listen. I want you to go on that trip. Pack your luggage and go alone. Well, there is no trip without you. I want you to go on that trip and have fun for both of us. I will do no such thing. If you're not coming, then I am not going anywhere. I mean, the chairman had to plead for a rerun of the test, but it still came out positive. You know, Raymond thinks someone is trying to play fast one on us. Exactly. I talked to him. And, <sighs> wait a minute. It seems someone wants to take you out. I mean, someone else wants to be on the street better than you do. That's pathetic. So pathetic. Hmm. And I'm also sure the person swapped you in. Because the test result can be saying positive when you know. You didn't take those drugs intentionally. Well, unfortunately for the person, I have been given the opportunity to pick who goes on this trip. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, so who did you pick then? Nobody yet. What do you mean by nobody yet? You need to pick someone. I mean, it's obvious you're not going. Lily. But you're the only one I can trust. Don't even go there. No, just allow me to finish. Please. Girl, come on, you're the only person I trust here. What else do you want me to, <laughs> to allow to go on that trip with Raymond? Nobody else. Please, I beg you. Just do. Listen, let me finish. Just do this for me. I know you guys are not in a good place. We are not, and you know it. I know you guys are not good, but come on. Raymond is a nice guy. Okay. You haven't given him the opportunity to show himself to you. Can you please just go on the street and make me proud, please? Please. Please. I'm just doing this because of you. <laughs> Stop it. I'm just doing this, just this once because of you. So guess what? What? Come on, don't be a boring fellow. Guess. Of course you know I'm not good with guesses. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll spill. Spill? I submitted Lily's name to go on the trip with you. What? Why? I thought we agreed it's going to be a random pick. Yes, that was our agreement. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you. But you know, I just realized someone might have swapped our urine. I mean, someone who's desperate to go on that trip. I figured it's better I pick someone I trust. And you trust Lily? Of course I do. She's my best friend. Come on. Very well then. It's alright. By the way, we oh. need to celebrate. The company is not taking up the drug abuse case. Mm? You're right. And... Talking about celebration, you know, it would be wise if you come over to my house to celebrate. <laughs> I love the sound of that. Mm. You're always naughty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Thank you. 
See, I want you to do something for me. There's a young man that's coming right behind me. I want you to tell him that there'll be no more. I mean, there's no more for them. Can you do that for me, please? Uh, okay, I'll offer you twenty-five thousand naira. I'm, I'm very serious. Okay. Yes. Hello, darling. Tell me you're in Lagos already. That's really it. So here, darling. I need you to stop joking right now. Really. Listen, the flights are all booked for the weekend. Okay, so I will shell it for Monday. Oh my God. Babes. That's another boring weekend for me. Well, not to worry. As soon as I'm back, I, I promise you a treat. How about that? Are you serious? <laughs> Yay! Thank you, honey. But that doesn't make me happy, though. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Okay, darling, I will see you on Monday. All right, bye. Oh, oh what's going on? Um, I, I just spoke with the agent again. Okay. I, I don't understand what you're saying. Well, he was saying that um, our flight tickets has been postponed to Monday. Monday? It's Friday today. How are we supposed to wait till Monday? I, I, I don't know. We just have to wait till then. We don't have any other choice. I've been trying to check to online and there's no other place or there's no other ticket. No. We need the ticket right away. We need tickets right away. Yes. Of course. What? What? What is it? Well, um, you see, if I were you, I would rather stay here. Do you know why? <laughs> because in Abuja, on a rainy day, especially when it's 12.30 a.m., I'm sure you don't expect any room to be available. So you see, everywhere is fully booked. So I'd rather prefer you manage, or better still, you take all of this. I'd rather risk it. Go out there, this late and under the rain, rather than being here with you. No, you tell me. Yes, I know you do not like me. I know you despise me. But can you listen up a little bit? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. <laughs> that was a fun field party. So much energy and vibe. Oh, I told you. I told you you were going to like it. I get. Uh, I love that. <laughs> I love that. Uh, Are you sure you're okay? Well, I, 
I I am What's us going on here? Why are we both naked? I should be asking you, and here you are asking me the same question. I... Don't tell me you took advantage of me, you bastard. My friend, will you keep quiet? Shut up! Let's stop this rubbish! Who told us? The last thing I can remember is walking back into this room all sleepy and dizzy and yes you guided me as a matter of fact it was you who brought me back inside until i lost consciousness wait wait are you trying to say that i i i raped you i should have known all this was a mistake i should have just i should have just been in my space Everything about you is bad news. Why? Uh, and where are you going to? Where are you going? To do what I was supposed to do. What are you doing here? <laughs> Have you forgotten I'm dating your girlfriend? Oh, you're here to be home again. Oh, wait a minute. Aren't you going to be a gentleman at least? Offer me a seat. Anyways, I'll make myself comfortable. What do you want, please? <sighs> Why are you acting like you're the victim here? No, you tell me. Because I was the one who found myself naked with my best friend's boyfriend in bed. Why are you acting so innocent? Well, I do not know what you're talking about. I never laid as much as a finger on you. But I will get to the root of all this. Root of what exactly? No, you tell me. Do you know what? Maybe I should tell your amazing grace what actually transpired between us that night. I'm sure she'll be in a good position to, you know, break out the stamp for us. Oh. Don't you think so? Lillian, Lillian, I beg you. No matter what happens, Grace must not hear about this. Oh! She now hide things from your girlfriend? <laughs> Oops. No, I'm not hiding this from her. I just think it's not right for us to talk about this until I find out what happened that night. Oh, please. Don't even go there. Well, since you want to know what actually happened that night, I will brief you in. What happened was, you got so drunk, 
that you couldn't keep your fingers to yourself. Hmm. Hmm. I thought you said you could not remember anything from that night. Apparently, I do. It's called memories. Especially when you have a sweet one. So, you see, lover boy, I actually came to check on you. But since I can see you're all right, you're good, I got to go. Be good. Bye. Bye, lover boy. Ray, what's going on? I mean, you, you've been like this since you got back from that trip. You've been avoiding me. Wait a minute. Did I do something wrong? No, darling. You, you just would not understand. What do you mean I won't understand? What is it? Ray? <laughs> Darling. You know I will never hurt you intentionally. Right? Raymond, you're speaking in riddles. I don't understand anything you say. Are you trying to tell me something? I love you so much. So, so much, darling. Fresh your memory. Do you remember this? Can you explain all of this? Explain what? What? Well, unfortunately, you are not as smart as you think. Immediately we returned. I suspected foul play. Because I only took a little amount of alcohol compared to the effect I had that day. So, I went for a blood test. And guess what? It came back positive. For drugs. I didn't stop there. I ransacked your office. And guess what I discovered? The same drugs that was found in my system. I don't know what you're talking about. What? You drugged me. Took advantage of me. As a matter of fact, took all glad pictures of me. And yet, you claim to be unconscious at that same time. 
I, I didn't take the pictures though. But your eyes were clearly open. I just saw it in my phone a few days after. Your eyes, they were clearly open. You were kissing the man seen a sleeping man. And you claim I molested you. Hmm. I can't wait to tell Grace the kind of friend she has and what she is capable of. No, 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 wait. I mean, what's bringing Grace into this matter? Why do you have to involve Grace? And not just Grace. I will also report this to the authority as a drug facilitated sexual assault. You took advantage of me, assaulted me, took pictures of me without my consent. Hmm. Now you will lose your job. And every other thing that you have ever worked for, right before your eyes. No, no, no. You know this is not true, right? You molested me, you know it. Okay, fine. You want to go to the drugs of it? Amazing. Be my guest. But let me tell you something. I will go to the police and make you reports because you molested me. Well, I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. But then, I will present all evidence I have gathered against you. Now get out. Get out! I said get out! I will always be ahead of you, Lillian Jara. <laughs> My head sings like a bird. You are my everything, yeah. You are my world. You are my everything, yeah. You are my breath. You are my everything, yeah, my paradise. I feel loved. Mm. I feel home. Mm. I feel like I'm on the boat on top of the night. Oh, your love set my soul on fire. Your love, your love set my soul on fire. Mm -hmm. Your love set my soul on fire. Your love, your love set my soul on fire. I went to the garden of love and I saw what I've never seen. A chapel was built in the mist. The pets were singing our love song. The trees were dancing in the rhythm of the wind. Oh no, I feel loved. Mm. I feel home. Mm. I feel like I'm on the boat on top of the night. Oh, your love set my soul on fire. Your love, your love set my soul on fire. Just is the moment I've been waiting for. Lydia, whatever you want, you go for it and you get it. Yes, hello. I have the sum of 600,000 now of you guys. I'm sure you know what to do, right? Good.
Ask him now. You know, you know what you know what she wants. Calm down. Hey, hey, hey. Shut up your mouth, dear. Ta, uh, boss, no discover not target the cab. Uh, today we'll come here. What you want me to do? Me will terminate and be me will. Anything for you, boss. Anything. We'll do it. We'll run them. No matter. We think it's tough. Calm down. Make no sense. Any concern, I can say. And any concern, make no sense, I can tell. Calm down. They feel me. And they feel you. Calm down. Just calm down. Move this move. Hey, maintain. Focus. 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 Hello? I'm outside. Okay, okay. I'll come now. You'll see me. Hey! Let me go. Huh? Who did you ask? You did Chris? I said I won't go outside. I go see the boss. You say who? Why? You won't go see the boss. Uh huh. Stay with him. I go see him. Yes, I'll be there. Stay with him. Stay with him. Make I go see him. What do you want me to go see him? If you like there, there here. Why you two they argue something? You two like argument. Why? Huh? Every time you speak English, argumentative essay. You, they here. Eh? No be argument. Man, come out, I beg. Man, I go see you. They, they, they talk rubbish. Man, I go see you, I beg. You don't have sense pass you. Eh? You don't have sense pass you. You get sense pass you. Allow me to go see boss first. You know you. you. Stay with me. Yeah. This is not to carry Motorola case in food for Nokia Touch. I got come out here, man, I go see you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go. Hey! Hey! What's going on? What's she doing? Eh? What's going on? What's she doing? They asked you what she did. I told you to tie her very well. I told you that. But I, but I tie her well now. You see? I said, I tie her well. 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 It's about.
Please, please. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming to save me. I, 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 I can't believe you called me. Okay. I have to listen. We need to leave here before these guys get to me. Okay. Let's go. I tie this girl. Oh. I tie him. Oh. So what you go do now? What you go do now? Go go rest. Oh. No go die. Do the work. Yeah, no. My rest. Hi. Oh my God. I know. I'm so happy you're all right. I was in a meeting when you called earlier, but. As soon as I was done, I, I called you back for your numbers were switched off. Ah, darling. I filed a report earlier. When I called back, they, they told me to just left the location and both your car and you were nowhere to be found. The cops suspect it's uh, the armed robbers. Exactly. You know, that was my thought. It is only Amrobos that can do away with things like that. Lily, I want to say a very big thank you. I mean, if not for your swift response, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you so much. Anytime. <sighs> Lillian, thank you very much. Okay? At least you have proven to be a very good friend, eh? <laughs> thank you. Anything for my best friend. <laughs> you guys are the most incompetent idiots I've ever met in my life. How could you be that dumb? No, you tell me. No, 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 Shut no, no. up! How could you forget to tie her hands? I beg, don't insult us like, don't insult us like this. Not too much, I beg. Not too much. I said we don't know what you do. I beg. Oh, you know what you are doing? And yet you let her escape. Dummies, fools. That's what the both of you are. Oh, you don't do now. You don't do, Haba. Don't do it. Only two of us want to be this insult. Shut, 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 shut up. Shut up, trap. Okay, it's okay. Fine, it's okay. We will kidnap her again. No, we'll do it again. You will do what again? So I should fold my arms and be watching you guys to kidnap her again. Fools! Idiots! No verse, madam. Calm down. No verse. Eh? We'll go do it again. We'll, go, we'll, we'll make it we'll come up again. Anyways, what did you do with the car? What did you do with her car? Nah, madam, we don't, we don't melt the car. We don't melt. I just sell five hundred k. Only just five hundred k. I mean, five hundred k. Oh yes. Move is a whole body. Dead. And it never came to your mind that that car can be traced. You never thought about it. Anyways, you guys are lucky at least you sold it for five hundred thousand dollars. Do you know why? I for no given a pako shishi kobo if for no siam. Even the hundred thousand naira we go add for us, you no go add them again. 100,000 naira. For doing what? Make you reach us 300 k You should be hiding your face in shame. This your face was hide that for ground. All the way assignment, I don't think I am. You don't talk about 100,000 naira. Incompetent idiots. Pathetic fools. My brother, they crazy for head. Something they worry for head, Abby. Go collect the money. Come on, come on. All this stuff, I don't know for this thing. Go follow me, go collect the money. Sir, you sent for me. Yes, I did. I sent for you to give you this. Um, what do I do with this? You want me to hand it over to your driver? <laughs> no, it's uh, it's the key to your car. It's back downstairs. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, sir. This is for me. Please don't stand. Thank you. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Thank you. If you want to hold anybody, that's it. He's responsible. No, it's okay. Thank you. Um, can I go to the So after my plans, these two are bent on getting married. 
One thing she doesn't know is, if I can't have Raymond, then nobody will. Hi, Boo! Hey. What's up? <laughs> Girl, I mean, you look so happy. You should. I am. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I am so happy for you. As a matter of fact, you are damn lucky. You know, you're right. I am damn lucky. <laughs> I mean, everything is happening so fast. I am overwhelmed. Seriously. You know, like I told you before, mm. you are incredible. Aww. I mean, you're one of the selfless people I have met on earth. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> and then sometimes I, I envy you so much that I wish I could swap. Huh? Girl. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> wake up. <laughs> are you are you normal? We will swap. Swap what? The boy is mine. He is mine. So there is no swap. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Fine, <laughs> fine. We have a lot of plans to do. I mean, we have wedding plans to do. Okay, that sounds so good to the ears, girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's calm down. Yes, hello. Oh, so not a problem. Uh, yeah, I think I think she she will be there by five um five p.m. tomorrow. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Who was that? It's the um. It's the officer in charge of your case. It said um, they just tracked the vehicle, you know, so they want you to come over to the station and identify it tomorrow. Oh, oh that's great. Yeah. So you have to go after work, okay? <laughs> Ray, where are you? You were supposed to be here earlier. You always do this. Why didn't you call me to tell me in time? I'm very sorry. It's okay. I'll just go with Lily instead. Alright. Alright. Yes, my dear, I did. But no, no, no. What's, what's going on? What's up? Really? Yes, that, that's, that's the good news, you know. How? When? Okay, um, I'll, I'll be there right away. I'm coming. Okay. So baby, how was it? You wouldn't believe it. It wasn't him. It wasn't my car either. Don't worry, we'll be fine. And I believe they'll be caught soon. Okay? Very soon. Don't worry, darling. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. 
excited? Yeah. What? <laughs> You're just naughty. <laughs> So tell me, how was it? My day was fine. Well, I just had to go out to drop some things and to make preparations, of course. Ah, oh, I see. You know, I can't believe my best friend is getting married. Yes. Congrats, girl. My best girl. Thank you very much. And my chief bridesmaid. Blushing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't wait. So, have we picked a date yet? Yes, we have. Um, we're looking at um, the last Saturday of this month. That's supposed to be your birthday. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. This was Raymond's idea. You know how he is. <laughs> Girl, you are so lucky. I mean, Raymond is a perfect gentleman for any woman. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you very I can't much. wait. Yes, it's gonna be amazing. 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 Mm -hmm. Ah! I just need to send. Lily, are you okay? Mm. Lily? Uh, are you okay? Yeah. Okay, never mind. I, I think it's probably my beard. Oh, then you should get some felvin or some painkillers. Sorry. And you need to rest too. I stop drinking sugar. Ows! Lily, are you...
to understand this. What exactly happened? I can't even explain. She had dropped by my house today and we had a good chit chat. And then she said she was leaving uh, and started complaining of stomach ache. Before I could say Jack, she collapsed. That's all? That's all. Darling, calm down. Calm down. Okay? Just calm down. Everything will be fine. I believe. Who is he? Oh. He's my fiance and a friend as well. Her boss, actually. Okay, I see. Uh, the reason she collapsed is because she seemed to have some poisonous substance in her system. Well, that's some kind of joke, right? Lily has been with me all day. How is that even possible? After the test carried out, we diagnosed and discovered that uh, she ingested a poisonous substance called Tylenol. Oh my God. Medically, Tylenol is used to ease pain, like headache or body aches or so, but when abused, it could become toxic to the liver. It can cause, you know, liver damage. That must be what led to her state of unconsciousness. Oh my God. Wow. Uh, gentleman, lady, I'm not supposed to be having this conversation with you. It's against the ethics and profession of this job. Mm. I would suggest we go to my office and continue with any other talk. Very well, Doc. Please. Good day, sir. Yes, you must be the doctor. Yes, sir. Okay. Can I see you for a second? Sorry to ask, sir. Are you related to her? She's um, one of my most valuable and hardworking employees. And it's, it's a pain to see her in such a bad situation. Yes, I agree. Wow. Uh, She'll be fine. All I right. promise you she'll be fine. All right, please give her the best care and treatment. Okay? okay. I'll, oh. I'll take care of the bills, no matter what. Okay? I will do my best, sir. But for now, I would like you to come with me to the office so we can talk. No problem. Let's go. All right. You've not had any rest in two weeks. I think you should take a day or two to rest, you know? So you don't break down. I wish I could, but I can't leave her here all by herself. 
I need to be here when she wakes up. I understand. I understand. I just don't want you to break down, that's all. But she'll be fine. Trust me. I hope she will. And I won't break down. So, calm down, huh? Come here. Listen, mm. I like the way you care for your friend. Hmm? She is my best friend. She's like a sister to me. What do you expect? Oh, really? Of course. So, so, what am I? Oh, Ray, can you just stop being naughty? This is a hospital for crying out loud. What's wrong <laughs> with you? I just can't help it, darling. You can't help what? Of course you know. Don't do that. I will do it. Don't do that. <laughs> This is a hospital and you need to get going. I don't want her to wake up and find you here. I'm along. So now you're sending me out. You need to leave already. It's alright. I'll just leave the both of you here. Mm -hmm. Do take care of yourself, darling. And keep your buttons closed so that those girls don't start running after you. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> See you, babe. <laughs> I bumped into you. Lily, she's too right. What are you doing here? You know Lily? Yes, I do. We actually did business some time ago. No wonder your face actually looks familiar. Um, have we met before? I doubt if we met. But she has really told me a whole lot about you. Yes. So what's your name? My name is Rebecca. I'm actually here to see my mom. She has been sick for a while now. Oh. I'm so I sorry about wish that. you quick recovery. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll let her know. And I wish your mom quick recovery. Thank you very much too. I, I need to run along. Okay. All right. Bye. was here. Where is she? She was right here now. She was in coma. Yes, she was. I checked up on her not up to an hour ago. 
She might have gone to the restroom or went outside for fresh air. I'm coming, madam. Angel, I, 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 I thought you were... In the hospital? Well, I decided to give you a surprise. Face it. Don't you like it? My dear, you, you don't look okay. I, what's wrong? Well, I do not have any problem apart from this. Now you tell me, where are Raymond and Graves? They're not here. That's not the answer to my question. Where are they? <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Yes, sir. It's been me. You know, I have a problem with you. I mean, why does everything have to be all about you? I have been in Silver Star Company two years before you came in, but guess what? Boom! You became the MD and me the assistant. Do you know what I've gone through to maintain this position in this company? Do you know? I had to sleep with Idris. I had to do so many things to be in this position. You cannot just let me have peace. You can't let me breathe in that company. Because you feel you're the best, right? Hmm. I am coming now. I am. To hell with Chief. And to hell with you. I don't care if he dies or not. Shut up! Shut that tiny hole into your face. Pick it and go. Pick the phone! I'll blow your brains off. Pick it up! Pick it. 
Yes, hello darling. How are you? Hello. Listen, I just finished my meeting right now. I'm not in the hospital. I can find either you or Lily in here. What's going on? Really? <laughs> oh, really? That's great news. Um, anyways, I'll be with you guys very soon. Okay? Good. I'll see you right away. Dad, what happened to him? Dad! Lily, what have you done? Shut your spot! You don't ask me questions. I go with the shot. Lily, can you at least tell us what is wrong? Why are you doing this? Shut up! Now, where were we? I was telling the story, right? Oh. I remember. Well, I guess I am a step ahead of you right now, right? <laughs> you see, I have always wanted Raymond for myself. But you will never leave the picture. All Raymond did was to worship the very ground that you walked on. Always talk about grace, grace, grace. I tried all my possible best to make sure that he despises you, but what? You never worked. You know, I wonder what Raymond sees in you. I am prettier than you, but no way. Raymond would not even notice me. You know, I was the one who invited David to the party. I didn't plan for him to rape you though, but I was happy when he did. Oh, what else did I do? Mm, I remember. You know, I was the one who sent the proof of your abortion to Raymond here. I paid Rebecca to claim to know him and I also spiked your drink so you can fail the drug test. I did it. Lily, what did I ever do to you? You were like a sister to me. I had so much trust in you. My friend, your sister. <laughs> you know, poor you. When you chose me to go on that um, business trip, I was happy, you know why? Because I got the opportunity to spend time with women here. So guess what I did? I rescheduled our flight tickets to three days time so I can have time. Or better still, so Raymond here can notice me and then I can have enough time to see those him. Shut up. Which I finally did. But unfortunately, my period came up. Well, I decided to abduct Grace. But guess what? Those stupid guys. To let her go, Godfrey. Oh, you look surprised, sweetheart. <laughs> well, yes, I was on there to save you, but I was there to make sure that I ended your happiness. Do you know what? Every single day that I, I mean, I hear your tiny voice. It keeps reminding me that I have to waste you. I have to kill you. From the beginning, I vowed that once I walk away from this, that would be the first thing I would do. Kill you. Lily, God gave you a chance to live again. 
and the next thing that came to your head is to murder me. What? When did you become this bitter? Who are you? I am a woman who fights for what she wants. That is who I am. Lillian Joro. The funny thing is, the day I set my eyes on you, I thought you were the prettiest girl I've ever seen. The moment I saw you, I, I wanted to be your friend. I loved your confidence, everything about you. What happened to you, Lily? Why would you want to do this to me? I really, I trusted you so much. Yes, I did. But not anymore. Christians Avenue, please. You need to come here right now. Oh, oh, okay, thank you. Ray. Raymond! Ray! Raymond! Ray! You have to stop this, okay? Because there is no amount of tears that will bring my father back. The only thing we can do right now is move on with our lives, okay? It's not easy. It's not easy to move on. I have tried so much to, to forget about the whole ordeal, but then I can't just control my feelings. I feel so terrible. You have to try. Try, darling. 
try and control your feelings. He's dead and gone. All we can do right now is to put him in our prayers. But of course, we know the whole, the whole reason why this happened is Lily and she's paying the price in prison. Baby, that's something else we need to talk about. We need to forgive her. I mean, I... I don't know, but something deep down just tells me that we need to see her. I just want everything to be by God. Grace. Yes. I understand at the moment you are still perturbed and shaking because of the situation. But I want to tell you as a family doctor that Raymond is fine. Thank you. He's very fine as we speak. He's as fit as fiddle. The reason we deprived you from seeing him earlier was because of your state of mind at the time of the incident. Medically, according to ethics, he's still not very much advised for you to see him, so I do um, plead with your understanding, okay? It's okay, doctor. The most important thing is that he's fine. I was really bothered. But um, since you're giving me assurance that he is fine, then he's I'll fine. just wait for him to come back tomorrow. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine, like I told you. He's fine. Uh, I would just say, thank God that he intervened. God intervened to, to control of the whole situation, you know, it's something to be grateful to God about. And it is a sign that things will come back to normal. Okay? Just try and be strong. Well, right. Thank um, you. Talking about Lily, uh, everything is under control. I posted some of my men to the hospital on guard. As soon as she regains her consciousness, she'll be picked and the right thing will be done. She'll be charged to court. You know, the discuss. All right, thank you very much, gentlemen. I really do appreciate um, whatever it is. I will relate whatever message I have to you guys. It's okay, Grace. Like I said, try and be strong, okay? I will, Doctor. Thank it's you. It's a natural thing for there to be storm, but in the horizon, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Do you understand? Thank you. Thank All right. You. Let's try and be good. All right, Doctor. All right. Thanks. Take care. 